Catalonia independence referendum, Trump says Spain should remain united. The U.S. president was speaking in Washington during a joint press conference with the Spanish Prime Minister Mariano Rajoy. Mr. Trump said, is a great, great country and it should remain united. It's actually been unfolding for centuries and I think that nobody knows if they are going to have a vote. But the US president became more ambiguous hinting the Catalans would not stand for their referendum vote to be blocked. He said, the Spanish president would say they are not going to have a vote but I think the people would be opposed to that. I can only say for myself, I would like to see Spain remain united. Mr Trump also cast doubt on the latest polling data that predicted a yes vote for independence would win. He said, I really think the people of Catalonia would stay with Spain. I think it would be foolish not to. Mr Trump said, I'm just for a united Spain, who cast doubt on polling data predicting a yes vote for independence will win. I really think the people of Catalonia would stay with Spain. I think it would be foolish not to. Mr Rajoy, 62, the leader of the Conservative People's Party, PP, said the issue of the Catalan referendum is creating tensions within the country and would like it to be resolved as soon as possible. He dismissed the referendum vote as nonsense. Mr Rajoy added despite the crisis in Spain he was not thinking at all about calling early elections in the country if Catalonia voted to leave Spain. He said, it is not on my horizon to bring forward the elections whatever the result of this we are talking about. At the start of the press conference Mr Trump described the talks as very productive and emphasized the historical links between the US and Spain, which he described as close allies and great friends, pointing out that Spain is the tenth largest investor in the US. Mr Rajoy also stressed the excellent relations between the US and Spain and has vowed to have closer economic ties. In addition, both leaders also expressed their united front in the fight against jihadist terrorism and the need to isolate the regimes of North Korea and Venezuela. At the first meeting held in the White House, the two leaders held a working lunch where they discussed the bilateral issues and Mr Rajoy emphasized the referendum would not take place. The talks come as Spain remains deeply split over the issue of Catalan independence and what the Catalans see as the heavy-handed suppression of their right to self-determination. Yesterday the Guardia Civil entered 31 town halls across the region of northeast Spain in a to seize documents and literature about the upcoming referendum vote that is due to take place on October 1. The operation was mainly focused on towns in the Lida region, in western and northern Catalonia, including Oliana, Targa, Alpacat and Armachals. The move comes as part of ongoing campaign by Madrid to prevent the referendum taking place which has been ruled illegal by the country's constitutional court.